What is up guys? It is your friends Kai and Sans here and today we are going to see Ramses. Is that Coco Shibo's house? Shit. For Wombo. You Wombo, I Wombo, Hey, Sans. Sans. Okay, I'm now, personally, I'm actually kind of scared to go. Personally, I'm actually kind of scared to go in now. Yeah. In ancient Egypt, the pharaoh was the bridge between the world of humans and that of the divine. As king of Egypt, he was considered a living god. It was in 1279 BC, a thousand years after the pyramids and a thousand years before Cleopatra. Sebi the first had died, and his son, destined for unimaginable greatness, was about to succeed the throne. At dawn, on the 27th day of the third month of summer, Ramses II, not yet 30, became king of Egypt, the pharaoh, chosen one of the sun god Ray, the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty. ascended to the throne, Egypt was emerging from a period of instability, and her borders were at risk. Ramses fought back invaders on all sides of it, in such detail that the Battle of Kadesh is considered the most famous battle of the ancient world. Under the wise and effective rule of Ramses, Egypt enjoyed prosperity. A measure of this wealth, the remarkable temples he commissioned throughout the land, becoming one of Egypt's greatest builders. By carving his name and his likeness on them, he ensured that he would never be forgotten. At Abu Simbel, Ramses also built a temple, carved out of sandstone cliffs to honor his first love and queen, Nefertari, dead children, and reigned for nearly 67 years. Few could remember a time in Egypt ruled by any other pharaoh, with reverence, his body was prepared for the afterlife and his mummy enshrined in the Valley of the Kings. But less than 200 years later, his tomb was plundered by robbers and over the centuries it was ravaged by floods and filled with debris. His remains and all the riches sent with him to his afterlife were thought to be lost forever. Life of King Ramses II the Pharaoh of Pharaohs, who epitomizes power and wealth at the height of ancient Egypt. Discover the grandeur and opulence of his world, the world of Egypt's kings. Meet Ramses the Great and marvel at the gold of the Pharaohs.
Did Egyptians make pizza? Find us a mirror. Okay, okay, we got the main, the birds, the dogs, and then the other birds on the side. And you got the what? What the? What the each animal is? That's a bull. That one. That one's like oh. a bull. Yeah, it's or a buffalo. Mochi a bull. I was saying this is the end. Wait, nope. They use my That's not real, right? Yeah. His body looks like a, like a rock. Two columns, with a reign seven times longer than Tut's. Ramsey's tomb and burial items surely far surpassed anything you will see here. First, his mummy is carefully wrapped in linen bandages. Amulets and gold jewels are placed between the layers of linen wraps, and spells are chanted to activate them. Each item has an ordained divine purpose. Eternal life. Rebirth. Protection. Wait a second. Stability. Rejuvenation. They ensure his passage through the dangerous netherworld to the afterlife. Now a god, the king's mummy is adorned with gold, the flesh of the gods. At the burial, a priest performs the opening of the mouth ceremony 
to allow Ramses to breathe, eat, drink, and speak as he travels to the afterlife. For protection from thieves and underworld demons, and to denote his divine status, his mummy is placed in multiple coffins and shrines. I guess this is the end. These are nice. 